What I know is that a man armed with two guns, two guns were recovered at the scene, uh, committed a violent crime, and it, it could have turned out very, very bad for innocent people. A police chase came to a wild end with officers shooting a man in the pharmacy drive through of a Louisville Walmart Walmart. So here's where it happened at the Walmart off Outer Loop and New Cut Road in the city's south end. WDRB's Joel Skipper live at the scene. Joel police say that they shot this man as he was trying to carjack a woman. Yeah, Gil and Fallon, like you said, it happened in the drive through pharmacy right here at the Walmart behind me. I want to step aside. You can see some investigators are still out there. Police say the man uh, ran into a store with a gun before before trying to kidnap a driver. The man who jumped into this van you see right there tried to carjack a woman. Police say it began around noon after a pursuit that led to a crash at the intersection of Outer Loop and New Cut Road. KSP flagged down an off-duty LMPD officer who called for backup. One suspect in the car was arrested. The other took off and ran into this Walmart police ran after. According to police, the man ended up running out and tried to carjack, possibly kidnap a woman who was waiting at the drive through pharmacy. Police told him several times to stop. He refused and they shot him several times. He was taken to the hospital with what they believe are non life threatening injuries. Officers say they found two guns at the scene and it's not clear right now if the suspect fired any shots. The woman and the officers were not hurt. Acting Police Chief Paul Humphrey said it was an intense scene for those here in the area. We are very grateful that nobody else was injured in this incident. We're talking about uh, an armed suspect running from police in the middle of the afternoon running through a crowd at Walmart. Uh, you can only imagine uh, the scene that may have been inside at that, at that time uh, and what this did to this victim who was just minding her business trying to pick up a prescription. The store closed not long after the shooting, and this area has been blocked off for much of the day. The officer has been placed on reassignment duty for now. Body cam footage is expected to be released in the next 10 business days. Coming up at 5 o'clock, we're going to talk to a woman who was inside the store when this all happened. All right, we'll see you at 5. Thanks, Joel.